All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. All right, so here he is, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion, DC, your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov, undefeated, 27-0. And history is certainly going to look back fondly upon what this guy has accomplished and puts that undefeated record online yet again here tonight. Usually at this point in your career, guys have made a mistake. There's been a hiccup. For Khabib, there has been no hiccup, no missteps on his way to becoming one of the longest undefeated streaks that we've seen in mixed martial arts history. And it's because the skill is so high in every facet of mixed martial arts. He has fantastic striking. He has unbelievable wrestling, coupled with his sambo in the ground control, in the ground and pound of Habib Nurmagomedov is second to none, one of the most damaging, dominant fighters the UFC has ever seen. He is a man of principle, and no one knows better than you. There may be guys who work as hard in the game, but no one works harder than them. Nobody works harder. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age. Some differences in height and reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Pleasant Hill, California, USA, the Great. And now we introduce his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of. 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nurmagomedov! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. All right, here we go with round one. You are paid to tell us what you think is going to happen as an analyst. We have a striker, we have a grappler. Doesn't always play out that way, but what are you expecting to see in this? One? I'm expecting the grappler to try and go and make contact with his opponent. Right. If he can make contact, he can drag this fight to the mat. I expect the striker to try and maintain range with his jab, with his kicks, to make this a stand-up affair. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it does. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. 
Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Just a slip there. Wow. And he landed the right hand there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Pretty good right hand. Real quick leg kick. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. All right, side control now. Right hand on point. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the title. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Nurmago Medov gets hit by that leg kick. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmago Medov, DC. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Habib lands early and he lands often. Oh, an educated jab there. I can watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Great punch landed with so much power. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Oh, and there's the double leg takedown, DC. That is just too good, too easy. Too good, too easy. The timing was just too good. Before he could even defend, he's already off of his feet, going backwards. It's hard to run backwards, and that's what happened when this guy hits double. Back to the feet now. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that chance. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Plus right hand is true. Single collar tie now. Good punch. Well, fortunate that one didn't land to the head. The hook shot blocked by Nermago Meta. Twenty seconds left. Man, the takedowns have come in bunches tonight, and there is another one. That was his strategy coming in. He has executed to perfection tonight. It never works out perfectly. But today, it seems to be going as great as it can be. I know the takedowns don't look beautiful. They don't look perfect. But it doesn't matter. He's a submission guy. All he needs to do is get you to the ground. Right. So even if it looks a little bit bad being there, he is accomplishing the ultimate goal, and that's to make you grapple with it. All right, let's look back at some of the action in that round, DC. What a high-level display of offensive wrestling. I mean, this is a joy for me to watch. I enjoy watching a guy maintain this level of wrestling for as long as he has done this. He is constantly in his opponent's face. He's constantly taking him down. Getting taken down and getting up is exhausting. Let's see how tired his opponent is at the start of the next round. Well, he certainly had his way with his opponent in that previous round, and with this guy, even when you know what's coming, sometimes it's still just hard to stop him. Yes, because he's always changing it up. The first time, it may be a high crotch injury. The second time, you may get single. Third time, it may be double. Ultimately, it always leads to him in the top position trying to find space for his grounded pound. 
good stick. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Nermago Medoff. Yeah, Habib Nurmagomedov is not only a wrestler, he's a full-on mixed martial artist now, and it showed in that exchange. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Wow, actually got the takedown. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. He got his foot on the hip, and now he's throwing up a triangle attempt. He's gonna try to move his left arm across to get pressure on the choke. Watch triangle, watch triangle. He needs to push the arm to the side, get his head against the mat. Now watch, as he goes to the finish, watch his chest go to the mat. He's and this might just be a matter of time. Side control, upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you gotta look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten them out and just go for the finish. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Got the single collar tie. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instance. Back and forth we go. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, big elbow. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Throws the right hand there. There's no give on that leg kick. Just misses with a left hook there. High amplitude elbow here, it's blocked. All right, so maybe he goes for another takedown here, and it's the setups too, right? He's not blindly shooting from the outside. Maybe he'll get it down again. He's doing a fantastic job of setting up his takedown with his hands. He's forcing the hands up around to block his face, and then he's dropping his level, shooting his shot. And ultimately, because he's such a great submission guy, no matter how the fight gets to the floor, he just needs to get it there. Massive takedown with him land. Less than a minute to go in the round. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. Well, no surprises, he connects once again, and that looks like the landing right on that cut. Right on the cut, and he's targeted it, right? He's looking, you can see him almost putting a laser beat on that cut and just putting his hands on it. It doesn't take much, just keep making it split, showing his opponent that he has no mercy. Oh, strong punch there by Nervago Meadow. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Final seconds here of round two. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. He's digging his entire weight into those punches to the oh, bottom. God.
All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a firefight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Nice defense there, huge block. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Oh, big punch land. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Connects with a right. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Pretty good job by him there to raise the guard and block the strike, keeping those hands up to protect that cut in around the He has to keep his hands up. This is not by choice. This is mandatory. It is mandatory that he covers his face. It is mandatory that the body damage is not as important as protecting the eye, because the more the eye gets cut up, the more of a chance the commission will come in and say enough is enough, we have to stop this fight. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Ooh, what a punch. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Misses with that punch. Nurmagomedov's got a bruise now, starting to appear on the right side of his body. Nice head movement to slip the left hand. A little single collar tie there. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, and there's a kick to the body, not having that one blocked by Nermago Meta. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Well, you gotta think he's happy with this performance here. Today. Fantastic timing. Just over two minutes now to go. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land. He's trying to land effectively. Right. Well, these numbers are unofficial, but they look right to me. 135 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. And landing with 37% accuracy thus far tonight against Khabib Nurmagomedov. Marco Medov's punch to the body is blocked, so no damage done there. Big punch land. Ooh. Working out of that southpaw stance. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Another great shot to the body there, really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Big punch from the clinch. Oh, single collar tie here. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Nice punch by Nermago Medov. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, he counters with a beautiful 
jab to the head. We told you off the top, he's got a decide. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got it completely hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. And they separate. All right, single collar tie now. Well, you're starting to see the damage now bleeding from his cheek. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. Let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch. And every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. His opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets I expect the action to really be. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming Man, this way. Man, get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary oh, close position. Huge right hand! hand. All right, so once again, the fighters engage in the clinch. We'll see who will have the upper hand here, champ. There are... Wow! He's done it! He's done it! Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motion on the mat. Ground and pound strike is true. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and that's going to do it. And that'll do it. It's over. It's over. <laughs> Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. Let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every round of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. And here we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at two minutes, six seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Khabib Nurmagomedov. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.